ಹಾಯ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಂಕಿತ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಶೋಸ್ ಯು ಅನದರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆನ್ ಲೀಡ್ಕೋ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅನ್ ಅರೆ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈ ಸೈನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಐ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಐ ದ ಅಥ್ಲೀಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಯುನೀಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಅಥ್ಲೀಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅಥ್ಲೀಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅಥ್ಲೀಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ಸೊ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಥ್ಲೀಟ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಮೈನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸಿಲ್ವರ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ತರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಬ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಟಿಲ್ ದ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದ ದ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಟು ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಟು ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಅನ್ ಅರೆ ಓಕೆ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಬಿ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ದ ಅಥ್ಲೆಟ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಲೆಟರ್ ಸೊ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಅನ್ ಅರೆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೇರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಆಫ್ ಐ ಇಸ್ ದ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಐತ್ ಅಥ್ಲೆಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಟೆನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಏಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ಟೆನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಏಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ಹೂ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ ನೈನ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ ಏಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಗೋಲ್ಡನ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಸಿಲ್ವರ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಟು ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸಚ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸಿ ಫಾರ್ ಟೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಸೊ ರೈಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಏಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೈನ್ ಸಿಲರ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಫೋರ್ in terms of string 4 so this is what we need to return so what is the method to solve the problem so first what we can do is we could see the array is not in sorted order so we should sort the array so that we will get to know which order it is but can we sort the original array no we, we should not uh, sort the original array why if we sort it we will lose the index and we have to return the answer in the original array index only with their respect to ranks so you cannot modify the array and tell this rank has this no the original array with the respective ranks we have to return the answer that's why we will not modify this original array instead what we will do is first we will have each uh, element in the array stored with the index okay so in the pair so we will have a vector of type pair so first uh, of, of integer comma integer okay so in this let's name it as result or indices yeah indices is better so this is uh, for c++ but the logic remains the same in java we will be using the array array with the corresponding indexing so how do you solve in java that we will see later now just uh, understand the logic so first we will have a vector so pair with integer comma integer first Uh, value is nothing but the element second value represents the indexing but in java we just show, store the array with the indexing so 0 1 2 3 4 that is that that's it that is it so now for now in c++ what we will we will have is we will have 10 and its indexing is 0 then 3 its indexing is 1 8 its indexing is 2 similarly 9 its indexing is 3 and 4 its indexing is 4 so these are stored as pairs I have just given a hyphen, but yeah, this is stored as pairs in this vector indices, okay? So, next what we will do, now we will sort this vector in the descending order. We will not sort the
if we need to do in java then we usually use a compare operator so you compare two index indexes so based on that you sort the elements so once you have this next what we need to do so the next uh, pair will look like 10 comma 0 okay next it will be the next highest indexing where do we have okay 9 comma 3 then 8 comma 2 after this 4 comma 4 and then 3 comma 1 so we have 4 comma 4 and 3 comma 1 okay 3 comma 1 so this is what we have now so you could see all the this is 10 actually yeah so all the numbers are in sorted order So now using this, what we will do, we will create one more vector, an array, let's say result. And that result is of size, the original array. So in this result, what we will do, for i equal to 0 till l n minus 1, m n means let's say length of the original array. For if the index is 0, then we have to uh, what put golden medal into that position right so result of i will be equal to golden medal if i equal to 0 what if i equal to 1 so if i equal to 1 then silver medal if i equal to 2 bronze medal else okay if means else if you have to check here okay else what it will be we have to just the result of i will be equal to i plus one that two we have to convert into two string that is two string function then we get i plus one in uh, java we use integer or two string so my i plus one because if the indexing is 0, then it should be 1. 0 plus 1, 1 will be the rank. So how do we get that? We will analyze, okay? So how do we implement this now? What if i equal to 0 means? So here comes in. This i we have read, which position it should be? From where do we get it? Result of i every time. This i, we get it from here. Okay, so once i equal to 0, result of whatever indices dot second of i, that means it should be result of indices of i dot second. So this position should be equal to golden meter. That means indices of i so this element dot second so here it should be it should be colon middle for this zero the index it should be colon middle if you go for i equal to one indices of i that is this element this particular element dot second means at third index it should be silver middle right this should be silver Okay, so let's see. At zero index, it should be golden middle. Yeah, golden middle. It's correct. Next, you know, next for i equal to one, indices of i not second. At third index, it should be silver middle. So third index silver middle. Yes, even that is correct. For i equal to two, result of indices of i not second. So there is the one this element. At the second index, it should be bronze. Next, further whatever elements you have, you just resultant of indices of i dot second will be equal to i plus 1, 2 string of i plus 1, 2 string of i plus 1. So, you could see for this element, at this fourth index, it should be fifth rank. Yeah. 
not factoring i plus 1 means for i equal to after to i equal to 3 it will be so for i equal to 3 means 3 plus 1 4 so fourth rank yes we do have the fourth rank next for i equal to 3 done so next comes in i equal to 4 so for i equal to 4 you move the last element so at this first index what it should be 4 plus 1 5 so 5 fifth rank we have it so this is how you do it so quickly i will uh, explain the logic again so first you have the original array, we will not sort the original array, we just create a vector of type pair, so each element with the indexing. So once you have this, you sort that in the descending order, then again i equal to 0 to n minus 1, and all these indexes with their corresponding number, if i equal to 0, since they are in descending order, so this is the highest score. First high score, second high score, third high score. So this should be column medal. At this index, it should be silver medal. At this index, it should be bronze medal. Respective next indexes will be this plus any that particular i value plus 1 is the rank. That is what we need to assign. So first we will create vector pair of type in comma in indices. Next int let n be equal to scores dot let. So now run to the while loop or for loop i lesser than n i plus plus. So we have to push to the indices right. So indices dot push back of the pair. So that pairs contain scores of i comma the particular index. So once you are done with this now create okay now we have to reverse it right so sort of indices dot r begin that is reverse begin comma indices dot r in reverse end so once you are sorted in descending order now create another array vector so let's name it as result you can mention the size as n, otherwise no problem. So, it should be of type string this time. Because you are storing a result here, right? So, you can type a string. Any number, any rank, it should be converted to string and then only you have to return it. So, first run the for loop. Now, what we need to check? If i equal to 0 then result of indices dot indices of i dot second at that particular index i mean this index is 0 3 2 1 so if i equal to 0 then that will be nothing but gold medal okay it should be in capital gold medal Next, similarly check for i equal to 1 also. So, here instead of gold medal, it will be silver medal. And again check else if i equal to, equal to 2. Same thing, but this time it will be bronze medal. So else the last part comes in result of indices of i dot second will be equal to two string underscore string of i plus one. So this is what we have in Java. So at last you return the result of it's a vector of type string. Yes. It should be score, not scores. Fine. Okay. Um, 
should be using size right that uh, length is, can be used only for string in C++ so many mistakes yeah yeah so this is saying null pointer because see i should have used it this is a result of pushback if i had used vector of variable type right so since i am giving index here let's mention the size of n so that it will be an array yeah and for java i go through the code so first you find the length then this is the resultant string which we have created vector in the end so here it is what indices we have we will create an array and we will store the index 0 1 2 3 4 so now you sort the index okay a comma b and you compare scores of b and a so you compare those two score of b and score of a compare the scores at this particular indexes then you sort the indexes in the index in the indices Array. So this is how. Sorry. So this is how we do it. So you compare the value at those indexes and sort the indices array in Java. But in C++ we have pair, so we can use directly that. And then otherwise we could have used map also. So and then you iterate over the array, check, and at that particular indexes you just as I code even bronze and the rest of them will be integer drop through string of i plus 1 and it will return the result. So we shall submit this also. Yes, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with another video in the next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.